On the 7th of March, uh, 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 a big series of updates were um, put through in a plan that led to the advertisers boycotting ads on YouTube and, um, to a certain extent, uh, reducing the revenues within Google, uh, Google search as well. It's also hit Twitter minorly and some of the other social media. And basically what it is is the um, uh, uh, legacy media has decided to go up at the alt media. So it's media versus media, another two tribes battle here that's that's shaping up. So the, so the, chaos the, the language mainstream everywhere. media is trying to whack the uh, alt media, like, you know, USA Watch. No, country. no, not trying. They've, they've already done that in the sense that they're probably, they've demonetized almost all videos on YouTube. YouTube is redoing their algorithm down to the very bottom. There have been tens of thousands of YouTube people that made a living on it that have now essentially been fired. And they, or it's even worse than that because they don't know if they've been fired. They just know they don't have any money coming in. And they've been told that this will fluctuate for months. But they say weeks, but it's actually months. And they, the, the uh, YouTube people just do not know how to, how to survive. If you're not legacy media, if you're not one of the big brand name um, broadcast media conglomerates, then your advertising has been hit. And, and this is uh, mainstream media is doing this to, because they're getting whacked. So they're fighting Correct. back. Unfortunately, they see it as a battle, and they've decided to try and take on in their in their death throes, try and take on what they saw as their opposition, which is the alt everything. And in the meantime, in doing that, they hit everybody that was not alt right or alt political on the um, spectrum in the YouTube advertising. So all the people with gaming sites, with um, uh, health sites, with you know body tip sites, fashion sites, they're all they're all dying simply because of the um, mechanism, uh, the underlying paradigm of the of the legacy media is kill the advertising for everybody and and eliminate it. So they're willing to basically burn everything in the field in order to get the um, uh, the mice and the rats as they see it uh, that they don't like. And they're more than willing to have that collateral damage. Hi, this is Ken McCarthy, and I'm the publisher of The Real Food Channel and The Next World TV Network and Plant Wisdom. And as you saw in the video that we ran at the beginning of this from an analyst, YouTube has basically devastated its independent publishers. It has been reducing revenue share for a long time, but now they've just wiped it out entirely. And they have done it, as the, uh, the analyst Cliff High mentioned, to any alternative site. We're, of course, interested in alternative health. Why is this happening? Well, I don't know exactly. I do know that the big corporations that produce food or so-called food have a lot of influence and a lot of money to spend. And it looks like they made the proposition to YouTube, get rid of all this alternative health information that makes us look bad, or we're never going to be involved in advertising on your channel. And it looks like that's basically what's happened. They have, as, as Cliff High mentioned, they have wiped out tens of thousands of small businesses uh, in all kinds of categories. Uh, of course, we're concerned with the, the food and future ways of living and uh, plants and plant medicine and so on. And so we've taken the hit along with everybody else. So here's what it boils down to. I don't know how long we're going to be able to continue this programming. It, it actually costs us a fair amount of money to do it. We've got to pay for a server every month. We have to pay for bandwidth. We have to pay for the, uh, the email management software that gets the email delivered to you and lets you subscribe and unsubscribe. We have a tech helper who we absolutely need, who we have to keep uh, paying every month. And then we have you know, the inevitable technical problems that crop up on the Internet that sometimes cost us a lot of money to fix. So we were able to scratch by all these years. And um, if this trend continues, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how much longer we're going we're gonna to be able to keep providing this information to you, which is unfortunate uh, because it's hard to find this information. Uh, each video is the result of an hour or two or three of research and thinking and looking at lots of videos and writing them up and doing all the technical things to create the page and to get the email out. Um, it, it's be very hard for an individual on their own to, to accumulate all this vetted uh, information in one place. Uh, we do it. 
and uh, we think we're saving you a lot of time. We think we're providing you with a lot of really good information, uh, information that can help your health, can help you uh, deal with various physical problems, uh, avoid physical problems, health problems, um, just live a happier, healthier life. And this, unfortunately, is against the better interests of the big food conglomerates. Um, they don't really want people talking about fresh food or uh, healthy food. Uh, they really want people to talk about buying what's in their boxes, which uh, very often is not very good for you at all. Problem is they have billions of dollars of ad revenue to spend every year. In fact, the processed food industry is bigger. If you put it all together, it's bigger than the oil industry. So that's how much influence they have. And they have succeeded in getting um, YouTube to temporarily um, suffer severe financial losses on their side. Uh, and this is costing YouTube a lot of money, but apparently they don't care. Uh, they really want that big corporation big ad budget money and they are willing to uh, kowtow to the big companies and basically betray uh, and injure uh, the tens of thousands of independent producers like us uh, who've been putting out uh, alternative health information to the public. So we need your help. Uh, if you would be so kind as to go to our homepage, you'll see on the upper right hand corner there's a donate button. And if you click on that, uh, if, you're, if you want to see this service continue, if, you, if it's a bit of value to you, uh, if you want to make it available to others who might need it, um, we would love some support. Donations, one-time donations are always welcome, of course, and we really appreciate them. Um, however, what we really like are monthly supporters. And, uh, you know, for as little as 5 or $10 a month, I mean, you could make a huge difference uh, to our survival. Uh, our bill, you know, what, uh, what we do is essentially a labor of love. Uh, unfortunately, our bills cannot be paid in love. We have to pay cash for the server, cash for the email software, cash to our assistant, cash for the technical helpers when we have severe technical problems, which do crop up from time to time. If we can see that every month we have a certain number of donors who are giving a certain amount, that lets us know that, hey, we can survive, we can continue. So if you're, if you're inclined uh, to be a monthly supporter, that would be amazing. Uh, you know, $10 a month, I'm not going to say it's a trivial amount of money, it's, it's $10. If you're inclined to support us, I, I hope you will. Uh, we don't need a million people to do this. Uh, but if we had, you know, 100 people or 100 plus people giving us $10 a month to keep the show on the road, we could keep this going indefinitely. That way we can pay our server bill, we can pay our email management bill, we can pay our tech helper, uh, and there might even be a little money left over for the labor, because all the labor basically has been free all these years. Um, it, this, and that's fine. There are no complaints from anybody working on this. This is something that we do as a labor of love, but we can't do it as a labor of love and pay all the technical bills as well. Um, just to give you an example of how bad Google and YouTube have been to their independent producers, um, we used to get roughly a 50-50 share of the ad revenue they've generated. They have cut that below 20%, so they're keeping over 80 cents of every dollar that we generate. Uh, through your traffic, and that's just wrong. And, and one of the things that we would love to do is build up enough of a following of supporters so that we can throw Google uh, and its advertisers off our site entirely. Um, it, you know, it's a devil's bargain. They used to pay very good rates. It used to make everything um, doable, and now it's not doable, and they just keep turning the screws on us and thousands of other uh, small independent publishers, and some of them they've actually succeeded in, in driving out of business. We're a little bit more resilient because our overhead's so low, and we never expected to make a living from this. Um, so we, we we work at other jobs to pay the bills. Um, but if it comes to the point where every month we've got to pay to do this, that will be the end of this. So if you like the Real Food Channel, if you like Next World TV, if you like Plant Wisdom and all the content that we bring you. Uh, please consider supporting us. We could really use your help. And if you're, if you're interested in supporting, a monthly support uh, is an amazing thing. It's a truly amazing thing. And, um, you know, 
I said that uh, ten dollars a month is, is thirty three cents a day. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what you can get for thirty three cents a day anymore. I'm not even sure you can get a piece of penny candy. Um, but I know we're doing good. Uh, I know we're doing good for you. Uh, and I know we're doing good for thousands and thousands of people. This is a heavily used site, and it's really kind of a a travesty that that Google and YouTube has been squeezing us so much that we can't even afford to pay our technical bills anymore. Um, but it's all part of a it's all part of a a, a program. Uh, these big companies want you to be entirely dependent on them, on their news, on their information, on their products. If you get sick from eating that junk. Uh, then they want you to come to their doctors and their hospitals and, and pay a second time. And we've been trying to interrupt that vicious cycle. And I know we've been successful from, from the, some of the emails that we've received over the years. So if you believe in what we're doing and you want it to continue so that we can both continue, continue to both bring you information, but also bring information to the, to the larger community, um, please consider being a monthly supporter of Real Food Channel, Next World TV or plantwisdom.org. And all of those contributions to our, not really contributions, this is not a nonprofit organization. You're not going to get a tax deduction. Uh, on the other hand, we don't have a, you know, executive staff that pays itself $100,000 a year for collecting donations. Um, as soon as we max out and we're paying our bills, uh, we're done. We're not going to be, you know, continually coming back over and over again. We're just trying to get to the point where this, this enterprise is self-sustaining. So that's the word. Um, if you do contribute you, to the cause uh, and basically pay for the service, it's really not a contribution. You're actually paying for the service you're receiving. You've been receiving for free all these months or years. Um, it will show up as the real food channel. It won't show up as uh, Plant Wisdom or Next World TV. It, it's just whatever, whatever channel you're supporting, it's going to all appear on your, your, uh, your, your monthly bill with that name. And other, otherwise, we have to open a separate bank account for every single one of these channels, which would, you know, that alone would be a huge cost. So anyway, we're in, we're in a battle for our lives, and I don't mean just the Real Food Channel and our other channels. I mean for society at large. We have large corporations that don't really care whether we live or die. Uh, we have a media system that, that is completely corrupt. Um, good information, it, you have to be your own detective to find it. And uh, bad information, that's available everywhere all the time uh, from every source. So we do a lot of the legwork for you. For every video that you see, we put anywhere from two to three hours of research and, and technical work to make it available to you. Uh, you know, that's something that it, you know, obviously, you, you wouldn't have the time to do on your own. Um, so anyway, thank you so much, by the way, for everybody that has supported us. We already have quite a few supporters, and I really do appreciate them. And, and if for some reason you, you're not able to financially support, um, please uh, spread the word about our channel and uh, the work we're doing. It may help somebody. It may save somebody's life. It may in, improve the quality of somebody's life dramatically. Uh, what's that worth? So that kind of help is valuable as well. But if you do have the 33 cents a day and you believe in what we're doing, please, um, please join the, the many people that are already helping so that we can be independent and stable and, and uh, send Google and all its advertisers uh, out the door. Thanks a lot. <laughs>